Today we've come to British Wildflower Plants in Norfolk. It's actually May and it is freezing cold. <laughs> and um, we've come to look at how our wildflowers are doing for Chelsea. We're at that really nerve wracking stage where we're assessing what plants will be in flower or looking good for the show. And I have to say, everything's pretty slow because of the weather. There's stuff like our meadow buttercup and um, stitchwort flowering and, and red campion. Um, but they're not perhaps flowering in the quantities or in the height that you'd normally expect. Um, so we're hoping that once the wildflowers are brought to London, London having its own microclimate and <laughs> being a heat island in effect will bring the plants on that little bit more because um, it is pretty touch and go. It's been the coldest spring for a long time. For instance, we were going to use the really, really pretty um, woodland flower, which is greater stitchwort, but that's already flowering, so we might swap it over with lesser stitchwort. Um, usually you, you can never find lily of the valley at Chelsea, but actually the, lily, the lilies here look like they will be just in time for the show. There's always disappointments when you're trying to grow plants for one week of the year. And so I did choose quite a wide spread, so I've got a lot of plants that maybe flower in June, which definitely are, aren't going to make it. But at the same time, yes, you get plants with, like, like the lily of the valley, which you'd never consider using. It is going to be tricky with the meadow species though because the way I garden I like to create visual links through the space and create swathes of plants and so when you've got small quantities of plants it's harder to kind of knit the composition together and lead the eye through the garden. I'm planning to use quite a few unusual species. I'm hoping to use the rampion which is, has this wonderful dark blue inky flower. Um, However, it's looking like it might not make it to the show. But I'm also planning to use some orchids. They'll be mainly native Dactyrhizum species. And until they actually flower, I won't know exactly what colour or what colour percentage they'll be because they're quite um, variable naturally. So that's quite exciting. I quite like that element of surprise. I'm also hoping to use a few more unusual species. Um, the Dactyrhizum are actually really good garden plants. Um, but, but there are a few more kind of fragile looking orchids which hopefully will, will attract a bit of attention. I'm saying no more. <laughs>